really interesting to hold a physical object that represents the build volume that we're working with. Now the big issue I had with this system immediately was the storage. What do I do with this box? All I have in this room are a bunch of boxes that print things. I don't need more boxes that don't print things especially. It was time to rethink my approach. I jumped into Onshape and thought my way through what's a more thoughtful way to waste a bunch of filament with a useless model. Well, this time I wanted to focus on an easier thing to store and conveying a little bit more information. Those were the two requisites. My plan was simple. I would still print a box, but it would only be three sides of that box. This wasn't necessarily in the name of saving material because more or less the surface area is kind of the same. Sure, there's less infill, so it's not going to be quite as thirsty, but by and large, this is still a very thirsty model. No, no, the primary focus of this shape was to make something that would stack easily and store away and still allow for easy comparison from machine to machine. So I labeled each face with the axis that it could represent and arrows pointing in the direction of those axes. Threw on some chamfers and stuff to finish everything up a little bit. And from there I could easily import the model into the slicer, scale it using the claimed values for that printer, and even throw some text on the side so I knew which printer each build volume belonged to. 